Welcome to Suerte del Molino, a farm in Andalusian Spain. This is September, still 36 degrees Celsius. So we still do our siestas, stay out of that heat. It is just not pleasant to work in it. Our new distribution pond wall is up, not completed, but uh, growing well. We have a lot of soil and stone in front of the wall, then a row of stones, then a dip, and then uh, some logs. I would like this stone to be washed from the dirt by the water coming down naturally. I would like to catch that soil here, stick some smaller uh, bush in between these logs and then this is what has happened already in this area. All the sand is already a meter and a half higher than what it was when I came here four summers ago. This is the old gabion sticking out, completely covered with um, sand. And there is a hole and the stones are ready. I will visit this part again when we follow the uh, canal that I hope to use. So October and maybe March is the time of the hard rain, impolite rain. A lot of water does rush down here. I have backfilled these holes, one, two, three. I have a base there reinforced with uh, some metal mesh. And this is the height that it will be. I feel like putting up a flag like the builders do when they reach the top of a building. This is not my thing in life. I struggle. It's uncomfortable. It is... It's just not my thing. It's uh, amazing that the new wall is already higher than the rickety bridge, the old crossing. So uh, we have made progress. And this is the stone that I want to be washed by the water coming down the creek. It's amazing the water has this wave effect on the land, going down, up, down, up. I just have to work with that. This is where we prepare the concrete and the mortar. I also have installed some pieces of metal for a sluice gate. I will fill these cells with concrete and make it the same height as this platform here. 
I have thinner blocks here because I wanted this landing here to be wider and I will still fill them as well with concrete so things are progressing this area is lower the west bank is lower than the east bank but according to those blocks the water will go down that way and obviously this way if it is lower i'm not too sure yet the water will go straight this way it was not a, that bad a job to put this dirt into wheelbarrow and cart it to fill the space between the two walls but I will have to lower this area here and um, this is the old canal from the Canat system started by maybe the Romans and then perfected by the Moorish it's quite low so uh, I am hopeful that it will just follow gravity or gravity will draw the water this way I now have the final block up there so it's time to tonight to bring the laser out and see exactly what I am faced with in the worst conditions then the water must just go next to the tree back into the creek in the best scenario the water comes this way here where the excavator is follow this canal it's actually quite high on both sides on this left hand side is actually built with stone here I have made a crossing in the canal it carries on because I built a um, soil wall here before an earthen wall and I used all this dirt and whilst it got washed away until I have placed a gabion here and these are the stones we looked at earlier to be placed on that side and this is all the sand that has been trapped sand dams so the water can either come down here it will come down here should it enter the canal if I close it here then it will go further this way and I pass my earthen wall and the water will go down here in uh, many years ago the water used to go straight because the Romans had a village not too far from here it's about three no two kilometers and they had the gardens here and the wagons with the iron ore from Rio Tinto to Lisbon came this way so they had to feed 
a lot of people. This is a, a camping spot for visitors. We had some bikers that were interested and it's a nice place. It just feels good when it's demarcated. Uh, hopefully tomorrow the vetiver will come in here and some cane and the irrigation. Hopefully it will still grow before it's too cool. 35 is still ample heat for these plants to grow, except the days are getting shorter. And being on the northern slope, um, we do miss out. How to correct my work here that I have broken this this wall of the canal is still up for my inner debate. The soil that I have placed there that got washed down is now all placed on the opposite side. So this is what is happening. It's all about water. It's all about finding out what works. And I'm happy with the progress. It will be nice to see water coming down this canal after many years. Actually, the person who lived here 35 years ago said he can still remember that water came down here because he had to come and fetch water for the house that was there every morning. So it's not too long ago. Luna is carrying a pig's ear. <laughs> She's the only one who actually uh, carries it around. Happy with the progress. I'm tired. It's just a very different kind of exercise. Till next time. Now we have to go and watch the sunset. We actually watch every sunrise and every sunset. Goodbye.